This is the MLB pregame show, and I'm Matt Vaskersian. And as we draw nearer to the first pitch of game one in the series, we'll give you the latest installment of our Tops Player Spotlight. Timothy Zahorek in the glow. And what a dominant performance he put together in his last start. He had opposing batters off balance throughout and racked up a boatload of strikeouts. Yeah, he just looked like he was really in control out there. And you know, sometimes you can tell a guy is going to dominate from the moment he sets foot on the rubber. They just exude confidence and their body language kind of says, he ain't touching me today. That's what I saw in him. I, and even though I was a hitter in my career, it was really fun to watch him make those other guys look silly. We'll see if he's still in top shape in this matchup here today. All right, lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. Now from the sunshine state of Florida, we're under the lights at the beautiful new Marlins Park. Tonight, it's interleague baseball. First of a two-game set between the Tampa Bay Rays and their rivals to the south, the Miami Marlins. And before we get too much further, here's a look at each manager's starting lineup here for the opener. And then briefly, let's take a look at the two starting pitchers who get the assignment here. We'll give you a look at the scouting report now for this 20-year-old right-hander. to be careful with as you see there currently leading the senior circuit in long balls now here's the pitch and the knuckler got him swinging and the side is retired Miami down in order we played an inning no score Tried to get him fishing at the knuckleball, but it's one and two. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. He loves that pitch up in the zone. Most. Here's another one, two. Here go. Knuckleball right. strike three called as that thing came back over the plate. One away. Here's a close up of how he grips that knuckleball. You can see it. not really not just a grip ball, but rather his fingernails are really digging to the seat. That's such a tough pitch. Takes a look at strike one. Batting average down in the low two tens. Eight home runs. Here comes another 0-2. Swing and a miss as he starts the frame with back-to-back -back strikeouts here. Three in a row going back to the last inning, and there are two away. Well, it doesn't seem like it's taken him too long to get into his groove here. He's now struck out three for the first five. But Danny Echevarria makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the... Now here it comes. And this is hit well towards the hole. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Batting eight, third baseman, Donovan Solano. Donovan Solano will stand in for the first time here. The 1-1. One, one. And he pops up the bun attempt. And he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first down. Bunting. Don't put that ball. Well, I mean, you see this on show track. Christian Yelich stand in with two on and two out here in the third. In the count and on their back foot go. right away. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Golden opportunity to get on the board here goes for naught. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Timothy Zahorek will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. One pitch. 
And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. And we've seen guys swing at that four-seam riding fastball up in the zone. But you're... Salto Malachia will stride in again. Struck out swinging his... Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And the knuckler got him swinging, and the side is retired. Miami down in order. Still down 3-0. Halfway home tonight, bottom of the fifth, as we get a look at our mind score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys, and they have not swung that well. That's putting it mildly. But Danny Echevarria will stand in. Base hit his first. The 0-2 oh, once more. Knuckle ball, and he can't pull the trigger. It's a called strike three for round number two. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leader. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Donovan Solano will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. The right-hander deals on one and two. And now the knuckle ball in there. Strike three called. And the side is retired. One, two, three go the Marlins. They trail it here, three to nothing. We'll get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. Kabata is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. He's barely been threatened out there. D. Gordon will stand in for the third time now. Without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. Just wants to get up there and put a good. Here's the first pitch to him. And the second pitch of the inning is hit on the ground out to short. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. And you had to figure that sooner or later someone was going to do something at the plate. Now that's just their second hit of the ball game, and it comes all the way in any number. Man might try to take second base. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to hold the ball a little longer out there on the mound. Here's the two and two offering. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Hernandez retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. One left for Miami. They trail in this one, three nothing. It's on the pitch now, and she'll take over and start inning number seven. Marcelo Zuna will dig in for the third time now. Three-two pitch, and a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down. Well, that's just some indecision there on three and two. He's thinking, should I swing? You can just see him trying to hold up, but by that point, he already broke the play. That's All right, one time, the pitch. Right here. Here 0-2 pitch, swung on and hit in the air out to straightaway left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. With the 0-2 count, he was really forced to protect the play, and you can see this ball's not even in the strike zone. 1-1 one, one on the way. Come on, big guy. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. Well, everything looks okay here on the pickup and transfer. But then you see him just fire this thing straight into the box seats down there. That's going to be scored an E5 and a lucky souvenir baseball for one. Get a look at his line so far. Seven and a third inning now. They've just not been able to mount any type of offense against them at all. Oh, the pinch hit here. So we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Another 2-2 offering. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game. And that one ends the inning. Miami down in order. Need to get it going soon. It's 5-0. Aaron Crow come on now to start the ninth inning as he looks to keep this deficit 
right where it is for the bottom of the ninth. Only two outs now, Stan, between him and his shutout. And the way he's throwing the ball, doesn't look like he's going to have too much trouble getting it. Christian Yelich will stand in and he, like so many up around that 110 mark, you put in a full shift. And he's fast approaching it here. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And he's not stopping. He wants three. Yeah. The relay. And he is in there at third with a one-out triple. Two. Hammered the other way to deep right field. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made. And here comes the runner from third. And this will wind up a sack fly in an RBI. First offering on the way. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first will be in time, and the rain has taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Well, that run of the ninth means that they couldn't quite finish off the shutout, but still a very good performance out there on the mound. to wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Eric Carroll and Steve Lyons, I'm Matt Vaskirchen. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The Rays are victorious in this one, 7-1. Good night from Miami. <laughs>